I'm now going to show you an oxidase test. First, place a piece of filter paper into an empty Petri dish. The oxidase reagent is provided in a plastic dropping tube which contains a glass vial. Crush the plastic tube to break the glass vial inside. Place some drops of the reagent onto the filter paper. For this test, it is essential to use a platinum or a plastic loop. An ordinary nickel loop will give you a false positive. Flame your loop as normal and take a sample of a known oxidase positive organism. You will need to take a generous sample onto your loop. Rub this sample onto the oxidase reagent on the filter paper. A positive result is indicated by the almost immediate formation of a blue colour. Flame your loop when you have finished. We're going to repeat the test now using a known negative control. Put another drop of reagent onto the filter paper and using a plastic or a platinum loop as before, take a sample of your organism. Remember to take a generous sample onto your loop. Rub this as before into the reagent. You will note in this case there is no formation of a blue colour. Flame your loop. You can now compare your unknown against these two reactions. We're now going to test our unknown organism to see if we get a positive or negative result. As before, place a drop of reagent onto your filter paper. Take a sample of your unknown organism and rub onto the reagent on the filter paper. Note that in this case there is the formation of a blue colour, so our result is positive. It is essential to remember that the plate you have used for these tests is contaminated with live bacteria. You must therefore dispose of it correctly Make sure you place it in the discard tins provided.